bit of mad society, John. Wonderful. Well, I mean, you'd like them if you saw them. I haven't been here for eight months. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So you've been in New York, right? Yeah. What's how, are you living there? Or? Well, I've been on tour a lot. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't live any place anymore, it seems like. Wow, mm, that's amazing. That, tell me about Joan Jett is here live in the studio looking really good, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Amazing, really. I saw the picture of you in uh, Billboard magazine playing at the Peppermint Lounge. What was that like? It was great. It was, like, really crowded. We slowly built up a following in New York and the whole area, like New Jersey. And stuff. Mm -hmm, really? So it was very hardcore. Uh, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts fans. It was really great. Well, who are in the Blackhearts now? Same band you've been on before with yeah, the Blackhearts. Yeah, yeah, we were here last April, and it's uh, same bass player, Gary Ryan, mm -hmm. same guitar player, Eric Gamble, and a different drummer from New York. His name is Lee Crystal, and he played with, like, Sylvain and Sylvain. Sylvain and Anthony. <laughs> Sylvain, <laughs> Sylvain. I know what you mean. <laughs> and Johnny Thunders he played with, and... Uh, Mm -hmm. A lot of New York bands, the boyfriends. Right. New York bands. So what's the scene like in New York? Is it like, is it like here? I don't know. I haven't been here. So there's there's a whole bunch of new bands here since the last band. But, well, no, it's, it's, you know, you, you've got enough to do. you got a new album out, finally. It's, on a, it's been on several well, labels. it's the same one that's been out for quite a while, yeah. Can you want to explain, like, the whole concept of, like, you're, you putting it out and then... Uh, Okay, first it was on Areola Records in Europe and England. Mm-hmm. And uh, then England started to import it to America, and they were right. charging the kids like 12 bucks. So we put out the album ourselves on Blackheart Records. And then Is that, just, like, really rare to get that one, the Blackheart? It should be, yeah, eventually, mm -hmm. yeah. And now we got signed to Boardwalk Records, mm -hmm. and they retitled the album Bad Reputation, but it's the same album. Mm -hmm. You know, that we put out on Black There are different Heart. songs, like, compared to, like, yeah, Willie Bully. Only Bully. on the English version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was, like, uh, Willie Bully's new on it, and, um, Do You Want to Touch Me's new. Oh, great. Gary, Gary, Gary you forgot Gary, Gary Glitter yeah, here. Play that. They re-released uh, his stuff, and they're playing that now on the radio. You must love Adam and the Ants. I do. You like, they're yeah. great, yeah. I just like the album, yeah. I mm -hmm. like your so physical. Yeah, we'll, we'll play that a little bit later. Yeah, we, had a, we had an interview with Adam Ant about, about a month ago. It was good? It was really good. He was in New York, and he called us. It was like an hour interview. It was like probably one of the best interviews we've done in a long time. Yeah. It's really good, yeah. Well, the, your album, you've got everybody on. You've got the Sex Pistols. You've got Blondie. You've got just about everyone on here. Yeah, Terry Guna is standing right there. There he is, <laughs> Kenny, have he, you was a, he was in Tommy James and the Shondells. That's right. And you do one of their songs, don't you? What? Yeah, Hanky Panky, but that's on the English version. Uh -huh. That's what I mean by it's different. Right up the English version. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh -huh. <laughs> but there's one thing I'm mad about you didn't put on this album is is a, a Love Rock and Roll. Love Rock and Roll, yeah. Uh, We're saving it. I lost it. I actually had it in my record collection. I somehow lost it. I was like pulling my hair out looking for it all day today. I couldn't find like it. Your hair is shorter, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I couldn't find it, and I wanted to find it because I wanted to hear it because I really like that song. Yeah, I think it might, you know, it might pop up soon. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, here's a, we've got a commercial. These guys have done stories on you before. Uh, Music Connection Magazine. The pulse of the entire music industry beats loudest right here in the L.A. area. And the magazine with its fingers squarely on that pulse is Music Connection Magazine. The full excitement of the incredible surge in the L.A. music scene as well as national and international coverage can be found in Music Connection Magazine. Not a sterile trade magazine, not a sensational fanzine. Music Connection has the exciting information from the inside, with interviews and articles from musicians, producers, writers, record company decision makers, all the people who make the music we love what it is. 
local notes on clubs and musicians with inside information on the current studio scene. Tips on songwriting, live action chart reviews, gig guides, free classifieds in the connection section that can put you and your group together. Music Connection Magazine, the alternative music trade paper available at music and record stores, newsstands, and most 7-Elevens. available at Licorice Pizza, Music Plus, and Tire Records. And John, who else is playing at the Whiskey A Go Go besides okay. you and the Blackhearts? Okay, here is the whiskey announcement. The whiskey on the Sunset Strip is proud to bring you tonight. It's Folk Night with Frank, Dave the X, and the Satin Tones, plus special guest Spaz Attack, Charlotte Go Go, along with the folks from the Weirdos, Plugs, and many more. February 23rd, See Doc N, Exciter, and Tyrant Blue. The 24th, it's uh, Blue Cats, Newtown Heroes, and the Sharks. February 26th, see Naughty Sweeties and the Rubber City Rebels. On the 27th and 28th, it's Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Yay! Yay. Along with Translator. March 1st, it's Native and the Trend. March 4th, see the Feelies and Human Hands. On the 5th, don't miss... What? Ugh, uh, ooh. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Okay. The 6th and 7th is <laughs> it's Martha and the Muffins with sensible shoes. March 8th, it'll be a benefit for No Magazine with Fear, Wild Kingdom, Speed Queens, and Mad Society. Coming later in March, the Suburban Lawns, also Brian Brain with former public image member Martin at Atkins. Right? Not Terry, but Martin. Yeah, you're yeah, right. It's all at the Whiskey A Go-Go, where there is no age limit. Right on. I never want to be there for your show. God, man. Who's the band that's opening for you? Translator. You know, you know, you know who they are? No. <laughs> IRS band. IRS. From okay. San Francisco. Really? Oh, I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, John Jett, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. How many times have you been down here? A lot. And in fact, I got a tape you got here. Right? Oh, man. Yeah, it's from like 1978. Right. My voice is like really high. It's way up there. Oh, man. So, do you, do you actually miss uh, being like with the runaways and all those girls? Have you ever heard from them? Or? Well, yeah, I miss it. Of course I do. I had right. a lot of fun with that. But mm -hmm. I don't see them much. I've been out of, you know, I've been out of LA for like eight, eight months. But. I try to get in touch with Sandy West. If you listen to me now, Call. you better find me. Right. <laughs> no, but I hope to see them all at the show. Do I the, hope they'll come down. Do you know the Black Hearts do any of their old songs? Yeah. Do you know names of the ones you do? You do Wait For Me. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of things with Fire. You do Black Leather. And we know a bunch of other ones. So. Possessive. Yeah, yeah, you're too possessive. Yeah, we do right. that one. Yeah. So let's hear the big K-Rock hit. Here it is. Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. <laughs> I came over to do this. Uh, she, she was in a, a grade Z movie. <laughs> so we're all crazy now. And they, they wanted their soundtrack on a Monday, and it was Thursday. So they, her, her um, manager at the time gave me a call. And mm. we yeah. came to, uh, yeah, what, there's a question I want to ask you, John. A lot of, we'll get calls. Or whatever happened to that movie? I don't know. Yeah, Peter Noon was in it. And yeah, Audie Johnson, you know. Yeah, they used to this. He died in the cutting room. Peter Noon's going to be on the Blue and Shirley this Tuesday. Playing like an Emmy's Mod band type thing. That's to be pretty bizarre. You know, we saw the commercials on TV. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we heard uh, we heard Willy Bully. Yeah. We started off. With Willy that. Bully. That's I mean, who played it? Is that that's Fred. who does the countdown? Is that Clem or? Yeah, no, it's Kenny. <laughs> that, how you doing the countdown yeah. in that? Great. He's the guy that runs around the studio, swinging the mic. Right. I mean, you know, head. also with this album, because Johnny always leaves it out. But mm -hmm. this was left for dead. And mm. then the New York and uh, New York radio stations mm -hmm. saved Johnny. Right. And so did Carol Q. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, you guys always played it, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The station. That's right. You really early all the time. You're one of the special Blackheart members. Really? Yeah, it's a very, it's a very prized Well, party. I remember I used to play Bad Reputation and I Love Rock and Roll. I used to play a lot no, of I'm serious, though, about the Blackheart from like We have this list of radio stations that back the you know, back Tony when she was on Blackheart Records, uh -huh. which was like, 
we, we don't have as much power as the Kenny group, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a little, there's a little trouble out there alone, so. Uh, yeah, I want to thank uh, Joan Jett. She sent a, a Valentine's Day card to the station for all the staff. Well, and, Ron, yeah, I knew you since I was, you know. Since, uh, that was 14. Yeah, <laughs> the record while it was still on Blackheart, and that was, that was, you know, it's fine. Well, if we're getting into rock trivia, we have a guy that comes on, on, uh, on Carol Q right before me. He's called a young Marquis, and his, his real name is Doc Nemo, and he was the original bartender at Rodney, um, Rodney, oh, Big Night in English Disco. The best, Doc Nemo best club is, in the world. is the young Marquis, who comes on right before me on Sunday. It's amazing. I have to get another club going. We yeah, gotta do, do this, this <laughs> announcement. Here. The Rock and Perkins Palace announces Kenny uh, Ian McLaughlin in concert Friday, February, March 27th, and all proceeds are going to the LAC High School's after-school sports program. And tickets are on sale Monday, March 2nd, at all ticket trying agencies. There's another one. I just need gum there for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but tell me about this contest that uh, we're having here at Carol Q, where uh, actual listeners get to go to San Francisco and see your show. Well, all of a sudden, I drove past Tower Records right when after I got, I got into town Friday. I drove past Tower Records, and there it was, and I went inside and it said, we're in a jet flight to San Francisco to see Joan Jett and the Blackhearts at the old Waldorf. So I don't know, I guess you just, like, fill out this, uh, coupon and so I'm at Tower Records and put it in this whatever you put it in and then mm -hmm. tomorrow night I'm going to pick the name out of the barrel and whoever gets, whoever's the winner gets to fly up for free, hotel free, limo, dinner, everything free. Right. And see the band and everything. Well, where's this contest going to be held? Here or at Tower? Right well, here. Right yeah, here. yeah. So well, I'll, I'll be, be here tomorrow night. So I'll probably judge the fish. Judge the fish tomorrow night you know, for the contest. Yeah. I'll pick the home. winner. So, so tell me about Neil Bogart. How'd you meet with Neil Bogart? He well, actually, Neil, uh, Neil was working out with us. He was really interested, uh, you know, in what he had heard about the band and stuff, and he came to see us in New York and wanted to sign us, so now mm -hmm. we're on board Rock Records. Right. Remember, um, see, Neil was the guy who broke all those records. All those bubblegum records? Right, exactly. So Richie and I knew him from those days, and we hadn't been together all these years. Uh -huh. Then he, you know, he was, did Kiss and Donna Summers and those people. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're listening to this, Neil. Yeah, that's the disco, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Bring up rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember one time What's I brought... What's happening now? I, I, do it for her. I, 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 well, when I was first doing my show back in, you know, August of 76, and it was like, there's this record by a guy named Nick Lowe called So It Goes, and Neil actually called me up wanted me to bring that to his office, and he... He listened to it. He liked it. He almost signed um, Nick Lowe. He was like, getting into the record, and, and, and I played him the dam, uh, New Rose, and he didn't didn't quite understand the dam's record, but he liked uh, the So It Goes by Nick Lowe, and um, I don't know why I never signed him, but uh, now I look at Nick Lowe. He's a big, huge guy now. <laughs> <laughs> Producer's good, too. Yeah, really. Definitely. Elvis Costello, all those people are, are happy and that's a hit for hit, right? Yeah. Okay, we got what do we have queued up? Okay, here's something from your from the past, John, from the yeah. old Rodney Bingenheimer's English He's Disco dead. Club. It's been re released, it's on Epic Records. It's uh from a little E P called Glitter and Gold. It's by Gary Glitter. Do you wanna to touch me? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're so physical. Joan's Ooh. favorite song. Ooh, I like it's that. real dirty, you like that? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, and before that, we're Dog Eat Dog, Adam and the Ants, and we heard Joan Jett doing Do You Want to Touch Me? Oh, yeah. And then we heard the original from Gary Glitter doing Do You Want to Touch, touch me? me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is amazing. That stuff is all coming back. I mean, are we ahead of our times or what? I think so. <laughs> right. You know, it's just everybody realizes that they want to dance again. Yeah, dancing is bad, believe me. I mean, you should see how people play on They don't want to dance. They, they don't want to sing. They just want to dance. They don't want to dance to disco. They want to dance to rock and roll. Rock and roll. You don't want no serious message. Mm -hmm. That's something that you can generalize and dance to. Yeah, you should see that like all these clubs are opening up that have this kind of dancing. You know, I've been doing this at the Starwood on Tuesdays and Wednesday. And yeah, I remember. I was one of the original supporters that would come down. There's, there's the Vale. There's, this, even, there's even a club in Beverly Hills I went to uh, one night. It's amazing. It's a private club. Doing this kind of music, people dancing. There's 
and the Odyssey, and like all these clubs, they're doing it, and people are now catching on. What I've done, like, when it was eight years ago. Yeah, something like that, yeah. That's amazing. Tell me about some of the shows, like on tour. What states have you been to? Oh, God, all over the place. North Carolina, South Carolina. Are you feeding back there? <laughs> I know, I hear angels. Am I gone or what? I think we're all going. Um, no, we've been to North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Georgia, Virginia, Florida, Louisiana, Tennessee, Nashville, what were some uh, of like, Texas, like the groups Texas. that were there? What kind of people showed up? Were there punks, rock and roll people? All or? sorts, yeah. Even mixed dolls. I'm kidding. Who, who are some of the bands that open for you? Can you really know. offhand or really dead? <laughs> I can't remember now. Oh. Uh, have you been to Europe yet? Cause you're oh, we were there quite a while ago. It's so huge over there. It's amazing. Especially Japan. No, you know, in fact, you got a better reaction in America than we have. We thought we'd get a big one, you know, because on the runaway success, but it didn't work out that way. Uh -huh. You know, we, it seems like we've gotten a better response here, you know, and I really like it because the kids are really enthusiastic and they're down to earth, and I'm really pleased with it. Wow, yeah, and Japan, too, when you go over there, it's the, uh... I've only been there once, and that was at the wrong so You should go back, no? I want to, you know, I'm waiting for somebody to hand me the plane ticket. Because I still get those, gone. I get those Japanese magazines, and still got your, your mug plastered all over them, and the <laughs> covers and everything. It's amazing. It's really good. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. So, um, what else have you been working on, a new album? No, we've been on tour. Mm hmm and We've got a couple new songs ready, and... That, that are totally finished and ready to be recorded, but, you know, I've got like 10 that I'm just about finished with. Yeah, you should put some of those songs that are, um, they're not, they're not on this one, those ones that are how they mix them around and stuff. Yeah, we already do some of them live. We do like three brand new ones that aren't yeah. on any record or anything. Well, what, what do you think about, like, there's these comp record companies in Europe that are re-releasing, like, Runaways and unreleased stuff? Well, I'm not too thrilled about that Runaways playing in Schoolgirls, I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. It's worth it to get to the W. <laughs> really? Yeah, what about... What's that? <laughs> no, but there's some new stuff. Believe me, you might even know this. In Australia, they just released a double set Runaway album. Are you serious? I'm serious, in Australia. Oh, man. A phonogram. Well, on a phonogram? Phonogram, Mercury, or whatever <clears> it is <throat> over there. So, yeah, this stuff's still coming out over there. I mean, you know, even when one kind of makes it big, how they always re-release all that stuff. The one ones weren't even ever really big in commercially, in a commercial sense. I mean, you know, they sold, like, uh, what I last I heard, a million and a half albums worldwide. Yeah, but, John, I can remember when Cheap Trick opened for the Runaway. Oh, yeah, me too. Right. Then I remember when we opened for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, right. That's amazing. Okay, here's that. You've been, been doing some work, too, on the side. You produced the Germs G.I. album, right? Yeah. What, what was that like? Was that <laughs> oh, it was <laughs> It was great. Which is out on Slash Records. Yeah. And there's one particular cut you picked out, like, tell us about it, the one of the shortest cuts on the album. Yeah, I just like it. I just remember I liked it. I haven't heard the album for quite a while. What is it? The Slave. The Germ. All oh, right, you just heard Vox Pop. That was um, Don's in that band, John. Yeah, I know. From the Germs. Don Bowles. <laughs> He's in several bands, 45 Grave and uh, Castration Squad, he played drums with them. And then we heard... Um, over here. That, that was uh, You Lied to Me by uh, Vox Pop. And then we heard uh, some um, germs. We heard uh, man, uh, Lexington Devil. No, no, no we heard The Slave. No, we heard oh, oh, uh, Richie Dagger's Crime. Yeah. And then we heard Bad Reputation by yeah. you. That was a 45 by Joan Jett, which is the part of track of Joan's album, right? On Boardwalk Rapids, and, yeah. and you know the Germs once did that song? Didn't I didn't know that. No, yeah, I didn't in know fact, that. Um, they, li they liked it. In fact, Garvey was on the show saying that you know, they were going to cut that as a single. But Good old Garvey. Never got around to it. And then we heard The Slave, which was uh, by the Germs. It started off with the Germs. Okay, what we have lined up here? We got, um, don't forget tomorrow night, John will be on Jed the Fisher show. Oh, yeah, right. The drawing the uh, contest, 9, nine o'clock, right here at the station. In the San Francisco. Free limo, free, uh, free hotel. Free booze. <laughs> yeah, free show, free everything. Great. Well, not that much, but it's free. <laughs> 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 no. 
Okay. The whiskey this Friday. Yeah, whiskey. Oh, yeah, we forgot ne to announce it. You are playing the whiskey. Yeah, right? next weekend. Is it this Friday, Friday and Saturday? Saturday. Joan Jett and the Black Heart. Yeah. Have the whiskey a go go. Yeah, and I think in the beginning of March, you're at the country club. It's so. really hot. Right on. This is the band that blew the minds of the whole country. <laughs> this is the band, band that blew the minds of people in New York, which is hard to do coming from California. This is a guy that's speaking from his knees. So <laughs> 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 here's something I used to play. This is from the past, The Runaways. <laughs> Bow wow wow, C30, C60, C90, go. I like the drums in that, John. Oh, man. Those are hot, I like hot, that. Hot drums. And then we heard, uh, so we heard uh, Runaway Boys. Uh, that was a group called uh, Stray Cats. I was going to ask them. That was a big thing. Good title there, Runaway Boys. <laughs> then we heard uh, Revenge by Black Flag. Did you hear that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we heard uh, You with the Runaways doing Blackmail Live off oh, of, from Japan. Off of uh, the Flaming Schoolgirls album. Is that on the other... Album. Is that on the other live album? That's no, 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 that was a B side of a single. It was on Japan. Well, I was going to ask you if someone walked up to you and offered you one million dollars to reform the Runaways for one night to do a show, would you do it? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because I have actually spoken to different people from Japan and sort of said that they would pay like huge sums of money to do like a one show. Well, probably one show. Yeah, man. Well, if you have to do one show with you know, the original. You know, Cherie and Sandy and Lita and, and Jackie. Was I thought it was going to offer a million bucks for it. But you never yeah. know. There are some weird people out there. Believe <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> I'd like to see a show like that someday. You know, maybe, you know, you never know. So do you have any... I don't know what, what sort of chance we got for that, but we did this movie that I know a lot of bands in L.A. did, um, Er, The Music War. Yeah, so when's that, that coming yeah. out? Uh, I don't know, but we did that, and apparently they really liked, we did Bad Reputation, and they really liked it, so uh, mm -hmm. I think we're definitely going to be in that. Yeah, if you get a chance, you should try and go see the, the decline of the Western Civilization. Yeah, I want to, I heard about that. The movie, it's like, uh, like Darby's in it, like uh, all the L.A. Uh, punk bands are in this one movie, which is amazing. There's even a soundtrack album of it, too. Yeah. So, uh, check this out. So here we have another, like, there's just another, uh, there's like all these unreleased uh, Joan Jett singles. This isn't really unreleased. It's a, a B-side of like a Holland record. It's like a Who song, Call Me Right Oh, God, I was laying on the floor when we sang this. <laughs> Who played on that? It was four in the morning, I was real tired. Um, Frank and Fonte and Crumbo from Blondie played on it, and I played on it, and I don't know. What was the bass player's name? Glad you didn't see the name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember the guy's name. Oh, well. Sorry. I don't know the bass player. Ask, how long have you been playing guitar? Since how old were you when you first picked up that... 13. 13. I'm 22 now, so what does that make me? Wow. Nine years? Oh my God. <laughs> God. And who is your biggest influence? Susie Quattro, right? Susie Quattro. All the glitter stuff you used to play at your club, Rodney. Right. Do, do you play guitar like, in all the sessions on your records, too? Oh, yeah, I play on every album. Every album? Yep. Great. Okay, here's... Actually, that's the monkeys playing. <laughs> <laughs> the, monkey. the monkeys back here, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, here's Joan, and you can hear a guitar playing. Well, I missed. Uh, all right, that's the adolescence, John, from, uh, from Orange County, down Huntington Beach Way. Like a whole new thing. Get ready, Friday night. You're going to see some new people out there. Yeah, who heard all about it. That's the adolescence, and that's on the, the Rodney and the Rock album. And then, what did we hear before that? We heard, um... Uh, Too bad on your birthday. Uh, John Jett and the Black Heart. Um, new John Jett album. Trust me, I didn't write it all down. Did <laughs> you take notes? <laughs> but it was good, whatever it was. Oh, yeah, we played Nausea X. Nausea X. They're, they're huge, and I don't believe how big X are. Yeah, they're I know. People have tell me. It's amazing, yeah. And you, you know that uh, X are now in the studio making their, new, their second album now already. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. And then we started off with uh, Call Me Lightning, which was a Who song. It, John Jett did with um, Members of Blondie. Yeah. Okay, what was it like working with the Sex Pistols? A lot different than you think it would be. Uh -huh. you think they would just be, you know, I can't even say the word I want to say it. you think they'd just be, you know, messing around and, and all this stuff, but they were very professional. Mm -hmm. Ha, ha, ha. You know, <laughs> professionals, but right. they really liked that. They were very into the studio and very into working. 
And uh, I had a lot of fun. I was laughing my head off the whole time. How many tracks did you actually do with the speed of uh, three tracks? Three, yeah. What ones were they? Don't Abuse Me, You Don't Know Me, which is our single that's out now. Mm -hmm. And um, I Love Rock and Roll. Right. Yeah, that's my, which is my favorite, which I don't have anymore. I don't know what happened to it. So we'll make you a new copy, Rodney. Okay, and put that on your next album, too, if you can. Okay, well, here's, uh, here's something brand new from the professionals, as we're just talking about them. It's called Kick Down the Door. All right, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Don't Abuse Me, which was a, an actual old runaway song, right? Yeah, old runaway song. And then, uh, that was amazing. Then we heard, um... <laughs> You're just looking at pictures of Brooke Shields. So. Right. Remember when you were on on her birthday? Yeah. <laughs> so long ago. It was amazing. And, um, so, so what we heard before Dan abused me, we heard some, we heard Black Leather off of Now, and now the Runaway. Yeah. Which was a Sex Pistol song, right? Yeah, it was a Sex Pistol song. Mm -hmm. But I got to before they did. In fact, I got it by them somewhere, but I can find it. Um, I'll play it next week, maybe. And then, <laughs> and then we heard, um, uh, we heard some, we started off with the professionals, <laughs> kicked yeah. down the door, and then we heard, um... How did it? What did we hear? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? It was here a minute ago. Too bad it's your birthday. Oh, too bad on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> when we get back into the new studio, which is over there, we're operating on this, like, little tiny room. It's just, like, amazing, and they're, like, remodeling cozy. the big studios over there. So we should do that about next week and be more organized. <laughs> Should I do this ad? You have done abuse me. What's the PSA? Okay. You can help prevent child abuse by opening your home to a youngster in a crisis situation. If you can provide emergency housing for a child, please call the Children's Bureau at 384-2515. That's 384-2515. Okay, we got uh, we got the big hit single lined up. Yeah. We can't have child abuse. No. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I haven't asked you. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, this is a TV show. Pat Smear just called just a while ago. Yeah. We were saying a lot of Hi, Pat. Over there. Uh, does he have a new band going? What did he say? He didn't say that. We were talking about something else. He said he heard something on television. Um, if they did a song in your, of one of your songs mm -hmm. on television, I'm on the soap operas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all my children. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if anybody watches All My Children, there's this blonde girl with long blonde hair, and she's like the bad girl who smokes pot. <laughs> and she was in a room, and she like picks up this album and puts it on the on her stereo and it's bad reputation. I freaked out. I was like sitting there eating the tuna fish sandwiches on the lunchtime and all of a sudden I hear bad reputation coming out of all my children. I don't watch the show. It's just on. That's amazing. That's really good. You, you watch it now. Did you get royalties for that? I don't watch the soap opera. No, but it was on. I mean, that's like really strange, you know? Yeah. You hear something like that. That's Kenny LeGuard. I love the background. X, uh, Tommy Dreams of Sandals and X um, Bubble Gum and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and no, that I mean that was quite amazing. If you think about it, man, all my children, God, bad reputation. That was really very really funny. <laughs> yeah, back to everybody. John Chad is here live in the studio. Should be playing the Whiskey A Go Go next weekend, twenty seventh to twenty eighth. Yeah. And who are you playing with? The other band, the Tron. Translator. Translator from San Francisco? Yeah. Okay, and here's the big single that uh, Steve Jones and all them... Um, Although it's a different it's version. Single is right. a different version. Let's see. I think five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go off on the single or we'll go off on the bang, right? We'll just go off. Okay, we got a few minutes. Is anything you want to say to Los Angeles? Now's your chance. Say anything, but I'd say it to you. Um, I'm home. Hey, welcome That's back. all I gotta say, and I'm glad. Glad to be home. Glad to be home. Now, have you seen your parents and your I've brother and all that? I've seen my mother and my sister, and that's all I've seen. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anybody else. The Canoga Park is alive and well. <laughs> no, well, no, I didn't go out that far. Really? No, I went to North Hollywood. Hmm. I haven't seen anybody else. Where are you, you guys? You're deserting me. <laughs> 
Tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, we pick the Tomorrow night, yeah. Jed the Fish, tomorrow night. Joan Jett will be here drawing those names. Come up to San Francisco. Getting a, a piece of paper. Get a limo. Get a free hotel. Get a free dinner. <laughs> if you can stand the tension. <laughs> right. But tomorrow night on KROQ 106.7, Jed the Fish, tomorrow night, and Joan Jett drawing names for the contest. Yes. To go to San Francisco. Okay, you're going to be producing any more bands to produce the germs. Do you have any other bands in mind you want to produce? No. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, I'm, in, you know, I'm interested. Uh, you know, shut up, Rat. What's your name? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, what no. about the band, the Black Hearts? So who's in the band again? The Black Hearts. Some yeah. X, a record, a record. It's, 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 yeah, it's different than um, when we played the Whiskey last time. We have a different drummer. Lee Crystal, mm -hmm. who was, uh, he played with Sylvain Sylvain, um, Johnny Thunders, and who else? He played with the Boyfriends, which is a New York band. The Boyfriends? Oh, yeah, they're doing it again. I played the Boyfriends. They yeah. played the music girl in my show. Yeah. We got Gary Ryan, who played with uh, Top Jimmy. Top and Jimmy and Liv. Rick L. Rick. And we got Eric Amble, who played with Top Jimmy and Rick L. Rick. Right. Also. A hot band. That's going to be Friday night. It's a lot different than last time. It's amazing. So anyway, I guess we better go and stay tuned. I guess, um, I guess Space and Scott Mason and Future Rock, all Future that will Rock. be. Future Rock will be here at midnight. So we'll get ready for that. We're going to close with, I guess, the new single, right? Yeah, but it's different than now what you're hearing. This is the album playing, version. Playing, there are two different versions? Yeah. Okay, who's playing on well, that? Well, the same people are playing on the... Okay, look, the al album version is Steve Jones and Paul Cook and me. Mm -hmm. And um, the single version is Steve Jones, Paul Cook, me, and the Blackhearts. Oh, well, if we only have the album version, let's go the album version. Okay. Okay. Thank you, John. Welcome back. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you. Good night. You don't know me, Jones yet, and the Blackhearts.